Hi everyone, it's May 2nd, 2012, and this is part of uh, what will probably be a trilogy of videos from the Blue Mosque in Istanbul, Turkey. And this is, to my knowledge, the largest one of the, the big five or six that are here in the city. And it just so happened I really have hit the mosque at a very quiet hour and I think that's really nice. You can get the full effect of the place by not having a busy time here. And I think there are six minarets surrounding the facility. I don't want to focus on anyone too much out of respect for them and all, but I'll take you to this back entryway because I'm a bit curious myself what's back here. Unless something happens that is a reversal of fortune, something quite disastrous has happened uh, in my time in Turkey. So I have been looking to work here because uh, there are I've I've narrowed down my ambitions to four different countries where I would like to work and there's kind of an uh, a plan A plan B C D uh, system I have set up. And today I had an interview for a kindergarten position in a really wealthy area, but it was at a recruiting agency, so they also have other positions. And when I was assembling my documents this morning, I had already pretty much done all of that in North America before I left. I'm very cautious about holding on to any kind of paper. I, I rarely lose anything except for I seem to always lose umbrellas. I was preparing the documents to go and I realized I could not find my bachelor's diploma. And it sent me into a panic. I do have, on the other hand, uh, um, an honors certificate that was issued to me on the same day, which basically indicates that I graduated with double honors and am part of, I think it's magna cum laude. It's not summa cum laude, which is the top, the top five percentile, I think, of a graduating class. And I thought, oh God. And so I had promised them that I would have everything ready. Though at this stage, it's not really important that I have it. And when I got there, I was so flustered that uh, they asked me if I had my TEFL teaching English as a foreign language certificate. And it dawned on me that there's a whole bundle of documents in that file that have to do with uh, my credentials. Just a complete disaster, and I have spent much of the day trying to unpack, repack, unpack, repack to try to find this, and I have no idea where they could be because I've been to seven countries in the last few weeks and I, I know I brought them with me to Europe and I think the last place I can visualize having seen them was in Frankfurt and so I'm going to pick apart my bag again and and um try to locate this. I do have photocopy duplicates in the U.S. of all of these documents, except for 
a set of seven, which I didn't make duplicates of because they are, they're mini certificates, I guess you could say. They're for having completed extra modules at one of the schools I attended for a teaching business English um, program in Mexico. And I highly doubt that those can be duplicated. So if, as a rule, if you are going to be working legally in another country, you have to have a bachelor's degree in order to get a foot in the door for most professions. And in order to secure the work visa, you must um, present that document for the, the administrative process. This is such, uh, excuse my language, but such a pain in the ass. It, it, it's, it's unbelievable. I am making a video about this because you really cannot be overcautious. If this can happen to me, someone who is incredibly paranoid about these kind of things, I really know that it could happen to anyone. And I haven't quite figured out my next steps yet. It's not the end of the world. When something like this happens, it is a disaster for me and beyond inconvenient. It, it really, really could change the, the prospects of where I go. And there is typically a very finite time that you have to assemble everything because in Turkey's case, for instance, you get a 90-day tourist visa when you enter 